Just about every industry is struggling with the same problem, finding a competent and competitive workforce. James Amps of Amps International LLC is changing the game with the Amps Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute Intensive Retreats. So we said, let's start these camps and let's make them intensive. I don't want to do a camp where you're going nine to five. There's no pressure there. And you're going for a whole week or two weeks. There's no pressure. The pressure is doing it during the weekend where you're up until midnight. He's not only introducing high school and college students to different industries at no cost to the participants, but teaching them to build a business around solving a problem. The so next move now is how do we really solve issues? And if you think about any business in the world, most businesses will solve an issue. We have some people from St. Croix who came over today and they were at lunch before they came uh, here because they got in early. And what I wanted them to do was to look at the customer service and feel the customer service. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. If it's not, there's an opportunity there. There's an opportunity maybe to teach people about customer service and hospitality. That's solving a problem. And people will pay you for that if you can solve a problem. You can create a business around it if you can solve a problem. This retreat in the St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands is sponsored by the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service and the University of the Virgin Islands School of Agriculture because the greatest threat in the region is food sustainability and conservation. Well, in the territory of the U.S. Virgin Islands, the main issue for us is that we are very much on the extreme end of being a dependent territory, which means that like Puerto Rico, most of our food is imported. Some estimates say that 99% of our food is imported at some times, and so that means that we have a real need to boost to develop our agricultural sector here in the territory. The dire need for islanders to consider personal, community, or industrial agriculture is especially important when you consider this. One of the biggest problems we have in the industry here locally is um, our farmers are getting up in age. Um, our average age of our farmers are over 50. The younger generation is not looking at um, agriculture or farming as a viable career uh, option. So hopefully programs like yours will help expose young people to the industry and the possibilities in the fields relating to agriculture. You may not want to be a farmer, but Agriculture has a lot of different, um, you know, it touches almost every industry. So whatever industry you're in, you can always find an agricultural component. Right, everybody has to eat. And everybody has to eat at least three times a day. Some people eat too, that's okay. But you need water and food to be sustained. And I hear a lot of people go to the supermarket and look at the price of eggs. <laughs> $7 a dozen here in the USBI or more. Wow. And then we go to our houses and we tell our kids not to be farmers, not to be agronomists. But that's why we are in that position right there. Because we pay that amount because everything comes in boats. And when there is a virus in the US, there's complications here in the in, in Be a area. part of the agriculture process and understanding um, healthy living wellness, all that goes with living a healthy, nutritional life. We are here uh, to help you be a part of society's process and making sure that you understand um, the agriculture USDA system, um, whether it be you becoming a farmer, some form of producer, even working for USDA, um, making a life of USDA, as it pertains to agriculture. You know, our chief, our chief of the agency, he, Chief, chief Terry Cosby, he is really, really uh, been in, in big time support of me um, working through this process and through these channels. And so I, you know, whenever I talk with him, he's like, you know what to do. Um, you know, I support you wholeheartedly because I know that you are there to make a difference because you are committed to making sure that there is change and change is going to be effective change. So I wanna make sure that I, give him his shout out as well. The AMPS Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute retreats provide a combination of innovative team building and problem solving techniques to formatting a business plan from A to Z. Sometimes things fall apart, but you gotta get back up. Still got time.
What are the forms of advertising? What are some advertising strategies? Commercial, maybe on TV. What else? Ads. Yes, what else? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Does that cost money? The more people that he exposes to that farm. All of us are about 25 here, right? And the staff that just got back with you. We talk about it, right? And it's free. What else? What's another way for them to really get known? Newspapers. Maybe should be featured on you know, articles. He doesn't even have to be the one writing the article. Somebody I know, he's an author that could be interviewing many farmer entrepreneurs and creating stories that then get featured and you put these on post or press releases. What makes the AMPS Institute unique is its commitment to hands-on experience. The best business ideas are born out of problems, so there was no better place to learn about the struggles in agriculture and conservation than heading out to the farms. A lot of times when people hear of agriculture, they think on going and hard work, breaking back, digging and all that stuff. A lot of the stuff that we do up here, we had machine come in and do some of the work. Some of the things that needs to be done, all the walkways, I have some cardboard boxes. What we do is we put cardboard boxes, we cut them to a size, put them down, and then we cover them with mahogany leaves or the, the dried grass. And that's to prevent the weed pressure. It keeps the weed back. Plus, the cardboard, any paper product, right? It attracts the earthworms. And if we're into agriculture, you know earthworms are very essential for, for um, producing that organic matter in the soil. Feed <laughs> is very expensive. I used to pay, um, when I started this, I used to pay like $18 for a bag of feed. That bag of feed is now $30 for a mm. 50 pound bag. Mm. The bread, these are the bread that the company, they take back. So they sell a whole case for a dollar. Mm, wow. So by using bread, it helps cut down on the amount of feed that you give them. So it, it actually saves your pocket. Hmm. We so don't produce it. corn, we don't produce soybeans, so everything comes in a boat. All that concentrated feed comes in a boat, so it makes it expensive. So even even a local company that can produce feed from local sources, uh, that's that's another idea that I think can be can be valuable. Well, think about it. They said they have a labor shortage in farms across the country. What if you came up with a company that dealt with getting people to work on farms? Your company, all you do is you're, you're an employment company. Mm -hmm. You're a young employment company and you're, you're searching for people to work on farms around the country. Do you think you get paid for that? Yeah. yeah. You're not on the farm. You're helping people to get onto the farm to help. Looking for jobs. That's, look at this. There's, that's there's excellent. Some, there's a concept that was introduced. <laughs> Um, and I just had a meeting with some of the guys from the Department of Labor this week and mm -hmm. the governor's Thank office. You. And it's something called um, seasonal migrant workers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we really don't have here. Yeah. But there are some instances Come on, where that, that shows up. There's some in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there is. And we have maybe two farms in St. Croix mm -hmm. that can call for that. But it's not something that we even. Another driving force for the participants of the AMPS Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute retreat is the pitch competition. The teams are vying for investment dollars. The ones with the best idea get the most money. Let's go down, go down, go down. Let's go down so we decided that we want to create a business dealing with compost and the way that we're going to get um, the materials that we need for the compost is having like hotels, hospitals and schools that like that throw away stuff like old like lettuce and all of these like old vegetables and we're gonna use them to create the compost like the materials that we need to create the compost and a way to um to communicate with these people is as um putting like a garbage bin outside specifically for that compost so that if we like come to pick it up that we don't have to like dig through garbage and find out we just pick up the specific bin to come and pick up the compost when this retreat is over, the participants will begin a year-long mentorship in partnership with the ICAPA World Network, giving them access to over 13,000 professionals across South Florida and the entire country. What you need to understand is your phones as a business owner and your iPads, you don't need to have a big media marketing department if you know how to use your phones. What was significant about this retreat is the students in St. Thomas were getting help from ambassadors who participated in the AMPS retreat in St. Croix, building a bridge between the islands, dealing with the same crisis of food sustainability 
and conservation. And so without them, you couldn't have came up with your entire presentation. So we really appreciate it our ambassadors, but I want you to introduce yourselves and then just tell us anything you want about what you went through the last few days as an ambassador. I liked it a lot, and I think it was a very different from the last one because I felt a lot, I learned a lot more helping other groups with their projects. I felt I had a lot of knowledge to share with them because I went through the same thing at first, and I'm really happy that I did it. The teams have to come up with everything from a business name and logo to startup costs, then create commercials to market them. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Great. My name is James Amps, as most of you know, but um, welcome to the Amps Entrepreneurship and Leadership Institute. Well, the island has so many threats because they import a lot of stuff. So we're trying to get these students to understand. And that's why the USDA funded us for this project in St. In St. Croix, St. Thomas, and then we're looking at uh, Puerto Rico is they want to keep that homegrown talent right here. Yeah, they might go away to school, but they want them to come back and really understand how to help the island and how to help the Caribbean really grow and grow their own food so that they're self-sustainable. And that's the biggest issue here is that everything's imported. So some of the things that they're solving is trying to keep things uh, here on the island and grow it on the island so you know the folks can have their own food, their own water, especially during disasters, and that's what they're looking at. But. Um, you know, we want these other companies to understand that these folks, these young kids will have a different mindset when they leave here, that they're going to be more creative uh, when they leave here, that they're going to be able to solve issues when they leave here. They're going to be able to communicate a little better. They're going to be able to negotiate a little better because all they're doing this, this weekend is negotiating with each other. They had to come up with their president, their CEO, their marketing director, their CFO, and they had to negotiate that kind of stuff. So. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to other companies coming in and actually trying to grab our students because of their different mindset. And that's really Juan Casimiro, who's done a great job with them uh, for the 30 plus hours that we've had him, had them for this weekend. Number one, as a professional who's been doing this and teaching entrepreneurship for years, this is a startup that can happen within a week because it's involving technology and it's creating a platform and everything that you're providing are services and access to resources online, right? So if you come together and you put your brains together, you get some amazing web developer and you gather data and information, you can have a one-stop shop for farmers to go to when they're looking for young employees or to solve problems that they may have and they can download all this information online. So I like this concept. I think it's very, very doable, doesn't have a very high startup. So let's welcome Fame, the young entrepreneurs. Welcome to our proposal, Fame. Fame is finding assistance, marketing, and technology. Teenagers, we're always in our phone. We love technology. So we decided to run a business where teenagers are helping farmers with their work and providing different opportunities. So right now, I think we have what's called the VI Ag Group. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for VI Ag Group. After we visited Mr. Wadi's farm, we really saw there was an issue in terms of the difficult challenges from nature in agriculture, and so we delivered a solution. Behind the time of the first farms, agriculture has often bent to the whims of the environment. VI Ag Tech aims to circumvent this and provide we will sell, maintain, and install vertical farm equipment to strengthen community farm. There are many like minutes for local farms. And I just want to warn you, you'll be seeing some pretty interesting uh, little insects, live animals here. So don't get shocked. Let's welcome earthworms. Claxton, the CEO of Earthworms. I am Fadini Plan, the Chief Financial Officer of Transform. I am Vivian Webster, the President of Earthworms. I am Solaka Sorin, the Vice President of Earthworms. And I am Hanaya Asuka, and I'm the Marketing Director of Earthworms. And our mission statement is to produce the finest, high quality compost to meet the needs for small businesses in the Caribbean. 
You know, one of the things that, that occurred to me is when you're using earthworms as your processing, how do you ensure that at the end of the, the process that you're not giving away your earthworms? Actually, I already thought about that, and we still, it will be a very tedious task, but we will have to carefully go through the compost to take out each and every earthworm. <laughs> carefully. Yes, I know. Even if the earthworm is still inside the compost, it will most likely try to eat through the bag. So any bags with holes in it, we'll have to separate from the rest of the products. And also, like, um, how say you say, go through it again to find that earthworm and put it with the rest of them. Any other questions? Thank you. <laughs> I feel like you accomplished something because you did. From the very day that you came in here, you did not sound like you sounded when you came up today. So you gotta be proud. While the judges were deliberating, we heard from the students and others in the room. But I asked them, it's like, well, you know, why did you, why did you sign up for the camp? So can you tell us why you signed up for the camp? And what, what happened when you asked your father that you want to come here? Um, I always uh, was interested in business and I wanted to become an entrepreneur from a young age. And when I asked my father uh, uh, if I can join this camp, he was like, if you want, you can. So I was like, okay. And uh, I was very excited to be here and I feel honored. What's your name and that mindset? My name is Daria and my favorite mindset is everything is possible. You just have to dream big and think creative. Very nice. Um, my favorite mindset I would say is the time is now. Um, when we're doing the a little mini meditation um, thing earlier, um, I feel like he was talking and it was like smooth, you know. We're getting into the moment, and then he was like, "The time is now." So that and that kind of like put ease. So that's what I think. Yeah. I think. I have to say that all of y'all are amazing, and all of y'all came out and put y'all into it, and that's what matters. Um, I want to say I really enjoyed this program, working with y'all because y'all showed me that. It wasn't only about me learning, it was about other people learning too. You gotta share it with others too. So I, I embrace working with these youths. Thank you. My message to you young people, there's a saying the sky's the limit, right? I throw it out. There's no limit on what you can do. Keep pushing and keep moving, okay? And it's limitless, okay? I'm proud of all of you. And at this point, I just say good luck in who, you know, places in the competition. All right? For all young people, especially, I come down. Think about agriculture and all of the possible professions. Too many of the Virgin Islands students think in agriculture as just a farmer. They don't realize agriculture involves the veterinarian, the food inspector, the agronomist, the ecologist, the agribusiness person, the agriculture engineer, etc. So I ask them to please research all of the possible careers in agriculture and make up their mind to begin right here at UBA. We really appreciate the parents entrusting us with their children this weekend. It was a huge transformation from students coming in very shy and then seeing them blossom and speaking well uh, throughout the event. Third place is Spain! Congratulations to the VI Ag Group for securing second place. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Yo, you, you don't know, you don't know me personally, but uh, I could be more proud of you. Uh, there's a saying that says, tell me who you're with and I'll tell you who you'll become. And today, I meet 20 bright minds that are in my mix. And I know, I don't know where I'm going yet, 
but I got you uh, as my backup. Um, so again, we're very proud of the work that USDA is doing. We're very proud of the work that James is doing with uh, AMPS and one in steam. Our islands are not growing. They're actually making it smaller with climate change. Food security is very important. Um, so whatever you're doing, whatever you think of doing in the future, uh, I know that you at least will have a conservation mind that uh, conservation is mine. I appreciate that. I think uh, we accomplished what we came for. Uh, you beat, you want your conscious or unconscious bias about this camp, about agriculture, and about, and about conservation. And I see real change in your heart about what you may be thinking about doing in the future. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We appreciate all the ideas, all our great ideas, all are needed or are going to be needed. Um, so for us, uh, it's an honor for to be here and be more than a founder, a partner. So uh, expect to hear from me. I, you know, James, if you are kind to invite me to some of these meetings, I'll be glad to tell you about funding opportunities if I invite to any of your business. So uh, thank you very much for what you did. The building of relationships is key to your life. The more relationships you build, the better you will become, period. And you have to be able to just don't ask for stuff. The biggest thing you can do when you meet new people is listen. They will tell you their entire life story and you're just asking a few questions. They will tell you everything. We listen for opportunities. We listen to where the challenges are. And then we look in our network and say, hey, maybe I have somebody who can help. To learn more about the AMPS Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute Retreat, go to ampsinstitute.com.